So some buyers, they like to try it, you know, they like to test the water, see where you're at, and they will submit lowball offers on your property. Now, you as a seller in this circumstance, most of the times get frustrated, angry, and they feel insulted that somebody would offer a lowball offer on their property. So first thing I suggest is to breathe and do not dismiss that buyer right away because the sole purpose for the buyer is trying to negotiate a lower deal for themselves and they want to get the best price possible and sometimes they will be ridiculous and they will offer lowball offers so in this case i always suggest that you go back to that buyer's agent and ask them these four questions first thing you want to ask is is your client pre-approved? Now, in all of my listings, I always say, submit your pre-approval letter with your offer, but most of the times they don't listen and follow instructions. So if they don't submit a pre-approval letter, ask their agent, was your client pre-approved? And if they are, send the pre-approval letter. So at least you can see the amount that they're pre-approved for is actually up to the asking price that you're asking for your property. The next thing you're going to ask the buyer's agent is, will your clients be significantly increasing their offer to at least close to the asking price or just under that because if that client doesn't plan to significantly improve their offer then there is no point for you to even counter their offer because at that point you'll just be wasting your time and you'll just increase your frustration so find out if they plan to significantly improve their offer before you even submit a counter the next thing is look at how much their deposit is how much deposit are they putting down on your property so for example you are selling your home you have a seven hundred thousand dollars home and the buyer is coming and they're offering five thousand deposit no 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 that's way too low so their deposit needs to be significant enough where you know they're serious and they do not want to lose their deposit and the last thing i suggest is to find out when are they looking to close on your property what moving date would they like now not everyone will have a closing date that is set in stone but people should have some idea of when they plan to move in, whether it's in 30 days or 60 days. Uh, somebody who is joking around, they will have no idea. Oh, maybe next week, six months, a year. They, they have no clue of when they're planning to move in because they're not serious. So those are four things I suggest for you and your agent to do whenever you receive a lowball offer. Now, in multiple offer situations or in a hot market, then this doesn't really hold up because if it is a hot market, likely your property is gone within the first week, even less than that, a day, two days, three days. If it is that you're receiving tons of lowball offer, then obviously your home is not priced at market value and that's when you need to have your agent to go back, rerun the comparables and see what the prices of properties have sold in their area. Maybe six months ago, that price would have worked, but maybe there's a dip in the market and and now prices are going for significantly lower. So maybe you need to reevaluate the price that you have listed your home at. So those four tips, again, are if your house is priced at market value. Now, I hope you don't get any low wall offers out there, but I hope that these tips were helpful. And as usual, if you have any further questions or comments, you can always give me a call or shoot me a text. Have a great day, guys. Bye.